Imagine a world where your phone isn't your go-to hardware device. What if the next trillion dollar company is actually OpenAI? Keep watching because this could be the craziest product launch of the decade. I'm John Abbott, I'm an AI consultant, and in the next few minutes, I'm gonna explain to you why OpenAI's $6.5 billion acquisition of Johnny Ive's company might be bigger than the iPhone launch. Yeah, OpenAI is not just about ChatGPT anymore. They are diving into extremely futuristic hardware that could massively disrupt Apple's grip on tech. So. What just happened? A little while ago, it was announced that OpenAI bought IO products. It was a design forward AI startup focusing on hardware founded by none other than the former design chief of Apple, Johnny Ives, in a deal worth around 6.5 billion. The IO team is about 55 engineers and designers. Essentially, OpenAI bought the company and merged that team with OpenAI. So Johnny Ive and his firm, Love From, remain completely independent, but they now lead OpenAI's entire design strategy. So let's put these two things together. You've got Apple, who has had Siri for a super long time and frankly just could not get it to be good enough to release a new version, right? They got Apple intelligence, it's okay. It's, it's, you're still using ChatGPT. Like it's not anything that impressive, but you all have an iPhone. So you got Apple who's still doing the iPhone thing, unsuccessful on the AI side. And you've got the whole world running towards AI, but kind of going like, yeah, we're using our iPhones because they're better still. So what happens now that Johnny Ive is working with OpenAI? And what is the product that IO made? This product isn't like a phone or smart glasses. It's actually described as a third core device. It's screenless, context aware, pocket friendly. It's not meant to replace the phone, but it is meant to get you away from the screen. So essentially this device is able to listen, pick up on what's going on, and you could just tell it to do things, right? So instead of you having to pull out your phone in a social situation and say like, go, hey, who's hungry? Who wants pizza, right? Raise your hand if you want pepperoni. All right, we've got 10 pepperonis and oh, 11 cheese. You don't need a screen to interface with it. There's not this like constant dopamine hit where you're sucked into this thing. I've had so many conversations with my wife where I'm like, I'm about ready to get rid of the phones. I just want to flip phones so I can just be go, 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 go. Like don't get distracted. There's actually been a lot of momentum towards something like that. And I think it's coming at the perfect time where you've got AI, which is this amazing tool for knowledge, education, productivity. You've got people that hate their screens and you've got Apple who hasn't really innovated that much when it comes to the iPhone in a long time. So how serious are they taking this? Sam Altman said he's going to make a hundred million new units, which that totally blows out the initial manufacturing efforts of basically any product that's come before it. He also thinks this is gonna add $1 trillion worth of value to OpenAI. They're targeting to launch it in either late 2026 or early 2027. But here's the cool thing. There's a new productivity tool that's coming. There's also a new untouched market of consumer goods that come along with this. iPhone cases, we had pop sockets, we had like all these multi-million dollar things that came from the invention of this product. It's actually kind of exciting to think like, how, how can we get ahead of some of those things and hit the market with something that's gonna absolutely crush? So what's the actual potential of this being an Apple killer? Well, let's just look at Johnny Ive's rap sheet. He designed the iPhone, he designed the iPad, he designed the MacBook, and he's now bringing his ability to design these consumer products to AI, not just any AI company, the AI company, the titan of the industry right now. That combination has the ability to totally change how we're interfacing with technology. And I think it's actually gonna affect how we interface with technology much more than the iPhone released did in 2007. I think there's actually gonna be some really cool applications for this type of technology in business too. We've already seen stuff like the plot right? The thing you can wear on your wrist, you can walk around with. I had the BAI and reviewed that. There's like other products that will listen and transcribe meetings and do stuff like that. But really being able to wear an AI agent and have it accessible at all times, we're tapping into something that I think has been a desire for most of human history, which is power. Like right now, numbing ourselves through social media is the addiction. But once you have people rejecting numbness, I actually think they're gonna crave the opposite and I think this product could not be better timed with the market. There might be others that compete. I'm sure there's gonna be phone companies that come out that are this weird hybrid between like 
they have a screen, but they also provide a similar experience to this device. Regardless, I think this product has the ability to totally reshape the consumer tech market. And again, this isn't about deleting the iPhone. It's about preparing for a new category of technology. So will it kill Apple? Maybe, but it absolutely will redefine how we connect with technology and how we connect with AI. If you guys wanna stay connected on all the big happenings in AI and tech, be sure to click subscribe. And if you're a business owner who's looking for ways to adopt AI in your business, I have something for you down in the description. Go check it out. Until then, we'll see you next time.